Stairway to Freedom, Chapter 6, Diet for Health and Spirituality. Now, before I start reading this chapter to you, I need to clarify one or two points. The person from the White Brotherhood who dictated this entire book to me, and you must remember that it was done using clairaudience or channeling, as it's sometimes called, asked me if I could make a list of all the fruits, nuts and pulses that I could find, and he would tell me into what category they fitted. Now, when this book was being dictated some 30 years ago, Internet did not exist, and the only source of information on food that was available to me was through diet and cookery books. So I went through as many as I could, and I made a list. However, I was never really satisfied that I had compiled all the food that was available at that time, and with the passage of time, no doubt there are more exotic foods available now than were available then. I must also say that the names of certain fruits, etc., changes according to the country. For example, in England, we have red and green peppers. In America, they are known as bell peppers, and so on. So, if you notice any omissions in the following lists, I hope that you will pardon us. Also, the way clairvoyance works is that I have to have the words already in my mind for them to speak them to me. If I do not have knowledge of a word, they cannot make it sound in my mind. So, even if the person dictating to me knew of other foods, if the name of that food was unknown to me, I would not be able to pick it up. And... On the subject of language, you may have noticed if you have followed the book thus far that the language used is very formal, precise and a little old-fashioned. Although I had a reasonable education at school, the White Brotherhood asked me before commencing this book to read classic literature and pushed me to return to evening classes studying English in order to advance my vocabulary. Thus... I was able to capture this rather stilted language accurately, but I do appreciate that it is not the most easy listening. Now, uh, I'm going to get on with, with reading the chapter to you. So I begin. The next item to be discussed of interest and concern to the student relates to the subject of diet. There have been many factions over the years that have considered nourishment of the human body in terms of calories, fats, carbohydrates, etc., with a view to obtaining a balanced diet. A balanced diet assumes that a person is imbued with the necessary elements to sustain him in perfect health. And so it is that over the generations, learned people have proposed that certain foods in certain quantities should be consumed at given times of the day and expected that all would be well. However, as is now history, all was not always well. People became ill despite the ministrations of do-gooder dietitians. And so, gradually, the dietitians changed the diet as it became apparent to them that certain foods were inimical to the human frame, and still people became sick. It is also interesting to observe the diets proposed at any particular time by so-called experts from around the world in China, Russia, Scandinavia, etc. At the same moment in time, in different parts of the globe, experts were and are propounding the absolute virtues of a diet widely differing from that being proposed by a fellow dietitian in another segment of the world. It makes no difference. Their patients still succumb to illness and still die prematurely from diet-related diseases. Is it, therefore, possible to discover a true diet that will bring the necessary vitamins and minerals in the correct quantities to promote a healthy existence whilst, at the same time, avoiding ingesting 
toxins that cause harm to the metabolism? The answer is yes. But that answer must be qualified by certain statements and by qualities concerning life in general. The subject of diet is long and complex and cannot be dismissed simply by listing a few items to be eaten and a few items to be avoided. The subject covers a much wider field than the food names alone. It is necessary to realise that humans are affected by the rays that dominated at their birth and that will affect their progress during all of their existence. Those rays were present in a person's reality long before he was born to earth and will see him to the Godhead. The rays, of which people generally know little except in terms of signs of the zodiac, are a vital part of a person's metabolism and affect that person during every moment of his life. It is not the moment to discuss these rays, as that too is a complex subject and requires much study to comprehend. It is mentioned in order to elucidate that people may be formed into groups according to the sign of the zodiac. The rays that affect and carry them along the path to God do not only affect humans, they also affect plants and animals. Those who would eat well would do well to realise that food differs according to the rays with which it is in harmony, and that by eating food amicable to him, he will be eating the correct food for him. Therefore, it can be obvious that before an individual can hope to ingest the correct types of food for his metabolism, he needs not only to know and to appreciate the ray that he travels under, but also has needs to appreciate the different types of food vibrating or corresponding to that same ray, in order that he may appreciate that which is safe and advantageous for him to consume, and that which is an anathema to his system. Such information is vital to his well-being and so it will become necessary for the student to appreciate the finer details relating to his birth sign and to the corresponding rays through which food relates to him. Should he be unable to follow that precept, he is in the position that the vast majority of humanity find themselves in, that is, they are both nourishing and poisoning themselves with every mouthful of food that they eat. Thus we realise that the subject of diet can be quite complex and that no two birth sign groups of individuals may partake of exactly the same types of food. Those who ignore this fact must continue to nourish their body in the haphazard fashion that they already do, but those who can appreciate the validity of this advice will notice an improvement in the health of the body which will reflect throughout their spiritual bodies as well. Thus they will greatly benefit from the dietary changes they effect on themselves. Should there be any reason why an individual cannot follow the dietary advice given, then that person should follow the guidance of his doctor, because some there are with certain deficiencies in their metabolisms who would require supplements of certain minerals or vitamins. Such people should follow the correct diet as far as they are advised to do, and follow the directions of a qualified medical practitioner after. Let it be clearly understood that the advice given will benefit all mankind and should be followed scrupulously in order to reap the benefits from it. It is the general custom amongst vast numbers throughout the world to base their diet upon the consumption of animal flesh. It has been considered since time immemorial to be necessary to the human condition despite many peoples throughout that same world living successful lives as vegetarians for economic or religious reasons.
A veil is drawn by the meat-eaters over the successful sustaining of life on vegetables alone, and meat-eaters join together to convince each other that killing animals is both vital and excusable because life cannot be successfully maintained without it. Reasons are given that man has always been an omnivore since he lived in caves. His close relation, the monkey, is known to eat meat, and so the argument is conclusively set that meat-eating is required by the human form. And why not? It tastes nice, it makes an attractive centre to any meal, it opens up countless culinary possibilities, and so on. There is a valid reason as to why humans incarnate on earth should not eat meat unless, and only unless, they are in danger of starving. It is excusable to consume the flesh of a freshly killed animal in order to preserve the temple of the body because a human body is of a higher spiritual order than that of an animal. And in the balance of spiritual power, it is more valid that a human should survive than an animal. But that is the only reason for killing and for eating the flesh of any animal. Most human beings on earth today are not starving, and so to them it is stated with the utmost force and vigour that they should cease forthwith to kill and to eat God's creatures, because they are harming themselves physically and spiritually, and, furthermore, are upsetting the balance of spiritual power that the archangels strive so strenuously to maintain. Meat is harmful to the human form. It contains toxins that poison the body. It begins to decay in the body before being evacuated, thus creating more toxins and, worst of all, it replaces in the diet some foods that should be eaten in order to maintain the individual in vibrant health. Meat contributes nothing but harm to the body. It is not necessary and meat contains no mineral or vitamin benefits that cannot be replaced by vegetables, fruits and nuts. The digestive tract of humans is formed for the digestion of vegetables, thus it is long. The digestive tract of carnivores is short, so that they may extract the necessary vital elements and excrete quickly the waste matter before it begins to putrefy. The converse happens in humans. Thus, a number of ailments are brought into condition where they could be avoided. Secondly, there is a complex relationship between the spiritual quality of an animal and the spiritual quality of humans. Whilst it is quite possible to blend the aura of a pet animal to that of its friend or so-called owner, it is not possible to blend the aura of an animal killed against its wishes and in abject fear with those of the individual who consumes that animal with the remnants of that aura still clinging to the meat. A complex pattern of upset is formed in the aura of the eater, which may result in strange sensations affecting the emotions of the eater. Emotions of violence, hatred or fear, reflecting the conditions emanating from the meat eaten and moulding into the personality of the eater. Thus, it has been written that meat eating can inflame the passions. Hence, the mystic that some foods have with reference, for example, to being aphrodisiacs. That is why certain tribes in Africa would kill and eat the flesh raw of a lion prior to going into battle. Those passions are not required by the disciple of God. The passions required are true love, peace and understanding. They may be gained in part by befriending an animal and raising its sensibilities above the animal level by sharing the warmth and kindness of beautiful human companionship with it. 
but nothing can be gained by eating it. Therefore, as has been stated before, thou shalt not kill. It is necessary for the student on the path to God to become a vegetarian so that he does not poison his physical form nor his bodies of light with the evil emanating from an animal that has had its life torn from it prior to its natural term. Nor is it acceptable to eat any by-products of an animal's death nor yet any fruit of that animal, such as eggs, milk or cheese. To be a disciple, it is necessary to eat only fruit, nuts, raisins, vegetables or pulses. Anyone who thinks that he may enter the kingdom of God and eat meat is deluding himself. God's kingdom deals in realities, not delusions. The Christ Jesus, it is noted in the Bible, ate from time to time fish, lamb and various other meats, and yet he was from God, of God and returned to God. Why and how is this? If he were sufficiently enlightened, he should not have consumed the flesh of animals. Therefore, there appears to be a dilemma. The answer 2,000 years later, is difficult to state with any certainty. Should Jesus have been born today, it is certain that he would have been a vegetarian. That can be stated as certainty because his views today are known to us. As to the past, it is probable that he ate meat. Perhaps there was nothing much else to sustain the body. Perhaps he ate meat in order to associate himself with those whom he taught and to those whom he offered enlightenment. Perhaps the Greek translation admitted to mention that he only ate vegetables. Perhaps, as the stories were transmitted by word of mouth throughout time, they became corrupted in the views of those who could not imagine that anyone could survive on vegetables alone. We shall never know for certain, and let it not be a stumbling block for the future. It is certain today that meat is harmful to man and will prevent him from obtaining the goal that he seeks. By being a vegetarian and by being a disciple of God, it shows others how to live and in the degree that others become vegetarians, then, hopefully, violence will decline in the world and peace will reign as it should. Therefore, those who would aspire to perfect physical health and those who would aspire to use that physical health as a means of directing their energies inwards and upwards to strengthen their bodies of light are required to observe diet as a spiritual act of obedience to God. Then that food ingested will not only replenish the physical form but will also generate streams of energy into the astral realms strengthening and vitalizing them with vibrant spiritual power which will enable those auras to act as vehicles of consciousness when the individual is ready and able so to do. Discussing the role of diet in connection with the complexity of a total human condition leads one to pose certain pertinent questions. Those questions would relate to the effect of that diet upon the metabolism and would make considerations concerning the effectiveness of that diet in maintaining the metabolism in a working and balanced condition. Consideration would also be given to the effect that the diet would have upon the spiritual bodies of light, for it is by no means just a one-way flow of energy that emanates from the bodies of light to the human form. The process, as with so many others, is a dual one. Energy flows from the body to the auras. That energy is obtained initially from the food ingested and it is transformed and heightened in value according to the degree of spirituality of the individual and according to the original value of the food ingested. 
It may seem strange to consider that food of various sorts has, potentially, a varying capacity for spiritual manipulation, according to the type of food that it is, but it is so. The relationship between food and its spiritual value is complex, but the potential value of any particular food may be altered by its suitability to the individual that is eating it. Therefore, to give an example, the value of an animal may be considered to be greater than that of a plant. However, its potential for doing good is greatly affected by the conditions in which it was raised to adulthood, the manner in which it was treated on its trip to the slaughterhouse, and the manner in which it was killed. As has been previously mentioned, meat taken under those circumstances contains no benefit to humans and is actually harmful. The potential spiritual energy of such an animal is cancelled by the lethal auras emanating from its life and death of fear and unhappiness, and that fear contaminates the meat, cancelling any potential for assisting humans to raise spiritual energy. It has, in fact, the opposite effect. It lowers the spirituality of humans. Thus, it was written earlier that it is not possible for a meat eater to enter the kingdom of heaven. No matter how strenuously an initiate strives to raise his consciousness towards the higher worlds, no matter in what degree he practices the techniques of meditation, etc., he is being dragged down below the level at which he started, Each time he ingests a mouthful of the flesh of an animal killed before its time set by God for it to die. Therefore it is repeated that those who would aspire to reach towards God cannot successfully do so until all meat, fish, eggs, cheese and dairy produce is eliminated from their diet. By a similar process, one must consider another product that traditionally has been considered to be beneficial to mankind, honey. We will accept that everyone is familiar with the virtues of honey as a food and as a medication, but a similar process applies when it is ingested to that of when meat is taken. Because the bees are reluctant To give the honey away, it has to be stolen from them. Therefore, the stealer, the beekeeper, has sometimes to harm them with smoke in order to effect his crime, and then he plunges the living embryo bees into boiling water to kill them, to melt the wax and to obtain his harvest. The sensitive needs no further graphic portrayal of the aura attached to honey. With meat, one sin is performed, thou shalt not kill. With honey, two crimes are committed, thou shalt not kill and thou shalt not steal. So all are advised to admit honey from their diet, as that too will prevent a person from entering the kingdom of heaven, should it be consumed. One is not permitted to become at one with God whilst one's life is full of sin, and therefore it is necessary to become a true vegetarian should one desire to make at one meant one's goal. Let us now consider the subject of which food it is possible to eat in order to derive the greatest possible benefit. First, it is necessary to state that no one should consume more than is necessary in order to maintain himself in health. Vegetables are alive, and although it is considered necessary for humans to eat them in order to retain their health and their lives on earth, it should also be remembered that those vegetables are harvested against their will, and the same type of aura surrounds a vegetable taken against its will as would surround a piece of meat. Fortunately, as the degree of sensitivity 
of vegetables is low, the amount of hatred, pain and fear that they are able to generate is very little, and so the benefits they donate to the human is greater than the harm generated by absorbing the aura of hate. But it must be realized that the more food that is taken, the greater the degree of hatred, etc., ingested. Therefore, it is advisable to eat only sufficient to maintain perfect health. Next, it is necessary to broach the complex subject of which foods are safe for people to eat. As was hinted at earlier, that varies according to the rays along which people travel, which corresponds to the signs of the zodiac. These rays are necessary for people and for animals and plants, and indeed all life is generated and progresses by means of carrier waves of various types and frequencies. As to the reason why and how all this happens, the reader is referred to the appropriate chapter. At present, let us accept the validity of the rays, the signs of the zodiac, as applying not only to the human race, but to all life in every aspect of manifestation. Thus, we may see that by focusing on the vegetable kingdom and including nuts, fruits and pulses, these two are split into groups and will be separated one group from another by virtue of differing waves. It may also be appreciated that those groups of vegetables of a particular ray would blend most suitably with a human of the same ray. Therefore, it is proposed to announce that for a person to comply with the pull of that wave which has carried him for many, many years so far, it would be better that he should begin to limit his diet to those foods which comply with his needs according to that ray. Now I'm going to start in a second to actually to read the list of uh, various vegetables, fruits, nuts and pulses that are suitable for all the various uh, signs of the zodiac. Now, uh, I will just say at this point, once again, and I'm repeating myself, I am not a di neither a dietitian nor a doctor. If you find that this diet is not suitable for you, or you have any doubts, please consult either a doctor or a qualified dietitian and take their advice, okay? That's just a disclaimer uh, on my part and on behalf of the Brotherhood also. Now, the recommendations for this diet is divided into the various signs of the zodiac, uh, Aquarius, uh, Pisces, Aries, etc., and then it's further subdivided into vegetables, fruits, nuts and pulses and divided once again into those that are excellent for any particular sign, those that are very good for any particular sign, those that are good and those that are poor, and then those that are considered not good, bad or very bad. You will also notice, perhaps, as we go through the list, that it kind of moves round according to the signs of the zodiac. Um, that which would be considered excellent for Aquarius, for example, the same list would just be considered very good for the next sign, which is Pisces, and so on and so on. You'll, you'll understand as it all progresses, because it, it goes ultimately round in a sort of a circle. Okay, now, the first one is Aquarius. And the various foods considered excellent are vegetables, which are cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, and tomatoes. Fruits are bilberries, grapefruit, lychees, and tangerines. The various nuts are cashew 
and marrons or sweet chestnuts, as they're sometimes called. And in pulses, you've got just got broad beans. Also considered very good for the sign of Aquarius are French beans, runner beans, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, corn, which means uh, in English sweet corn, and lettuce. The fruits that are considered very good are apricots, gooseberries, oranges, grapes, bananas, cherries, quinces, mandarins and nectars. The only nuts that are considered very good for the Aquarius sign are almonds. The pulses are butter beans, black beans and black-eyed peas. Considered good for the same sign are celeriac, beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms and peas. The fruits are melon, damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches and strawberries. The nuts are beech nuts, macedonia and sesame. The pulses are lima beans, rice, Aduki bean, ooh, adzuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat and oats. Considered poor but still acceptable for the sign of Aquarius are vegetables, artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives, radishes, breadfruit, fennel, spring greens, lemon and raspberries. The fruits are figs, ginger, passion fruit and pineapple. The nuts are cob nuts and peanuts. The pulses are barley and haricot beans. Considered not very good but I suppose acceptable are vegetables, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, ah. This is, maize is sweet corn, onions, bean sprouts, parsnips and spinach. Um, I made an error on the first page. Uh, under vegetables, corn would be considered to be wheat. Fruits are avocado, blackberries, red currants and apples. The nuts are coconut and pistachio nuts, and the pulses are French beans. Now, looking back, did I see French beans anywhere? Hang on. Yes, for some strange reason, the actual little beans are, come, are considered to be not very good, whereas the actual flesh of green beans is considered to be good. You make up your mind. Now, considered bad for the sign of Aquarius are chicory, okra, pimentos, salsify, aubergines, celery and marrow. Fruits would be black currants, mango, rhubarb, dates and pears. Nuts would be Brazil nuts, pecan nuts and tiger nuts. The pulses are soya beans and bran and considered to be very bad for this uh, sign of Aquarius are cucumber and turnips in the vegetable department and under fruits we have cranberries, green gauges and pawpaw. Nuts are considered very bad are hazelnuts and walnuts. Under pulses we have mung beans and chickpeas. The next sign is Pisces, and considered excellent are, in vegetables, French beans, runner beans, lettuce, and the sort of corn that bread is made from, wheat, if you like. Um, fruits are apricots, gooseberries, nectarines, mandarines, oranges, and grapes. The nuts are almonds, pulses, butter beans. 
considered very good are celeriac, cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale and tomatoes. Fruits would be melons, bilberries, grapefruit, lychees and tangerines. Nuts are cashew and marrons. That, that's the, those sweet chestnuts. Pulses are lima beans, rice and broad beans. Considered good are artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives, radishes, cabbage, carrots and potatoes. Fruits would be figs, ginger, passion fruit, pineapple, bananas, cherries and quinces. The nuts considered good would be cob nuts and peanuts. The pulses would be barley, haricot beans, black beans and black-eyed peas. Considered poor but nevertheless acceptable are Chinese bean sprouts. I think they might be called mung sprouts. I'm not too sure. It's, they gave me bean sprouts. Parsnips, spinach, beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms and peas. The fruits considered poor but acceptable are apples, damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches and strawberries. Nuts are pistachio, beech nuts and Macedonia. The pulses are French beans, aduki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat and oats. Considered to be not very good are breadfruit, fennel, spring greens, aubergines, celery and marrow. The fruits would be lemon, raspberries, dates and pears. In the nut department we have tiger nuts and pulses bran. Considered bad for the Pisces sign would be asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, maize is uh, sweet corn, onions, cucumber and turnips. In the fruits we have avocado, black currants, cranberries, green gauges, pawpaw. In the nuts we have coconut, hazelnuts and walnuts. In pulses we have mung beans and chickpeas. Considered very bad for the sign Pisces are chicory, okra, pimento, salsify. Under fruits we have black currants, mango and rhubarb. Under nuts we have Brazil nuts and pecan nuts. And under pulses we have soya beans. The next one is for the star sign Aries. Considered excellent in vegetables is just celeriac. And under fruits, just melon. Under nuts, we have just sweet chestnuts. And under pulses, we have lima beans and rice. Considered very good also are artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives, radishes, French beans, corn, and ordinary lettuce. Um, under fruits, we have figs, ginger, passion fruit, pineapple, apricots, gooseberries, mandarins, nectarines, and oranges. Under nuts, we have cob nuts, peanuts, almonds, and pistachio. Under pulses, we have barley, haricot beans, butter beans, and French beans. Considered good for the sign Aries are bean sprouts, parsnips, spinach, cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, and tomatoes. Under fruits, we have apples, bilberries, grapefruit, lychees, and tangerines. Under nuts, we have cashew, marron. Under pulses, we have broad beans. Under poor, we have aubergines, celery, marrow, cabbage, 
carrots, and potatoes. Under fruit, we have dates, pears, bananas, cherries, and quinces. Under nuts, we have just tiger nuts. Under pulses, we have bran, black beans, and black-eyed peas. Considered not good for the Aries sign are, in the vegetables, beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms, peas, cucumber, and turnips. Under fruits, we have damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches, strawberries, cranberries, green gauges, and pawpaw. Under nuts, we have beech nuts, Macedonia, sesame, hazelnuts, and walnuts. Under pulses, we have azuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat, oats, mung beans, and chickpeas. Considered bad for the sign areas are breadfruit, fennel, spring greens, chicory, okra, pimento, and salsify. Under fruits, we have lemon, raspberries, blackcurrant, mango, and rhubarb. Under nuts, we have Brazil nuts and pecan nuts. Pulses, we have just soya beans. Considered very bad for the sign Aries are asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, or sweet corn, and onions. In the fruits, we have avocado, blackberries, and red currants. Under nuts, we have coconut, and we don't have any very bad pulses for the sign Aries. Diet recommended for star sign Taurus. Excellent under the vegetable part are artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives, and radishes. Under fruits, we have figs, ginger, passion fruit, and pineapple. Under nuts, we have cob nuts and peanuts. Under pulses, we have barley and haricot beans. Considered very good are celeriac, bean sprouts, parsnips, and spinach. Under fruits, we have melon and apples. Under nuts, we have chestnuts, which are also those marron things, and pistachio nuts. Under pulses, we have lima beans, rice, and French beans. Considered good for the star sign Taurus are French beans, runner beans, corn, which would be maize, lettuce, aubergines, celery, marrow. Fruits would be apricots, gooseberries, grapes, mandarins, nectarines, oranges, dates and pears. Nuts would be almonds and tiger nuts. Pulses would be butter beans and bran. Considered poor but still acceptable for the star sign Taurus would be cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, tomatoes, cucumber, turnips. Under fruits we have bilberries, grapefruits, lychees, tangerines, cranberries, green gauges and pawpaw. Under nuts we have cashew nuts, hazelnuts and walnuts. Under pulses we have broad beans, mung beans and chickpeas. Food not recommended for the star sign Taurus, considered not good. Cabbage, carrots, potatoes, chicory, okra, pimento and salsify. Fruits are bananas, cherries, quinces, blackcurrants, mango and rhubarb. Under nuts we have Brazil nuts and pecan nuts. Pulses would be black beans, black-eyed peas and soya beans. Bad would be beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms, peas, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize or sweet corn and onions. Under fruit we have damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches, strawberries, avocado, blackberries and red currants. Under nuts we have 
beech nuts, Macedonia, sesame, and coconut. Under pulses, we have azuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat, and oats. Considered very bad for the star sign Taurus are breadfruit, fennel, spring greens, and under fruits, lemon and raspberries. And that's all for that one. Under the star sign Gemini, a diet recommended for that sign are excellent, considered to be excellent. In vegetables, we have bean sprouts, parsnips, and spinach. Under fruits, we have apples. Under nuts, pistachio. And under pulses, French beans. Considered very good are aubergines, celery, marrow, artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives, and radishes. Under fruits, we have dates, pears, figs, ginger, passion fruit, and pineapple. Under nuts, we have tiger nuts, cob nuts, and peanuts. Under pulses, we have bran, barley, and haricot beans. Considered good for the star sign Gemini are cucumber, turnips, and celery egg. In fruits, we have cranberries, green gauges, pawpaws, black currants. Under nuts, we have hazelnuts, walnuts, and melon. Under pulses, we have mung beans, chickpeas, lima beans, and rice. Considered poor but acceptable for the star sign Gemini are chicory, okra, pimento, salsify, French beans, runner beans, sweet corn, and lettuce. Under fruits, we have mango, rhubarb, apricots, gooseberries, grapes, mandarins, nectarines, and oranges. Under nuts, we have Brazil nuts, pecan nuts, and almonds. Under pulses, we have soya beans and butter beans. Diet not recommended for the star sign Gemini are considered not good cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, tomatoes, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, or sweet corn, and onions. Um, fruits considered not good for the star sign Gemini are bilberries, grapefruit, lychees, tangerines, avocados, blackberries, and red currants. Under nuts, we have cashew, those marrons, or sweet chestnuts, and coconut. Under pulses, we have broad beans. Considered bad for the star sign Gemini are cabbage, carrots, potatoes, breadfruit, fennel, and spring greens. Under fruits, we have bananas, cherries, quinces, lemon, and raspberries. And then under, under nuts, we have nothing, but pulses, we have black beans and black-eyed peas. Considered very bad are beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms, and peas. Under fruits, we have damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches, and strawberries. Under nuts, we have beech nuts, macedonia, and sesame. Under pulses, we have azuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat, and oats. Now we come to the diet recommended for the star sign Cancer. Considered excellent in vegetables are aubergines, celery, and marrow. Under fruits, we have dates and pears. Under nuts, we have tiger nuts, and pulses, we have bran. Considered very good are cucumber, bean sprouts, parsnips, pawpaw, and turnips. Under fruits, we have apples, cranberries, and green gauges. Under nuts, we have pistachio, hazelnuts, and walnuts. Under pulses, we have French beans, mung beans, and chickpeas. Considered good are chicory, 
mango, okra, Chinese lettuce, pimento, leeks, salsify, olives, radishes and artichokes. And the fruits, we have black currants, walnuts, rhubarb, figs, ginger, passion fruit and pineapple. And the nuts, we have hazelnuts and cob nuts. Uh, under pulses, we have nothing. Uh, considered poor but still acceptable for the star sign cancer are asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, onions, celery. Under fruits, we have avocado, blackberries, red currants, and melon. Under nuts, we have Brazil nuts, pecan nuts, and chestnuts, which would be those sweet chestnuts, sometimes known as marrons. Under pulses, we have lima beans, rice, and soya beans. Food not recommended for the star sign cancer, we have under vegetables, not very good, are French beans, runner beans, corn, lettuce, breadfruit, fennel, and spring greens. Under fruits, we have apricots, gooseberries, grapes, mandarins, nectarines, oranges, lemons, and raspberries. Under nuts, we have almonds, and pulses, just butter beans. Considered bad for the star sign cancer are cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, tomatoes, beetroots, broccoli, mushrooms, and peas. Under fruits, we have bilberries, grapefruit, lychees, tangerines, damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches, and strawberries. Under nuts, we have cashew nuts, marrons, which are those sweet chestnuts, beech nuts, macedonia, and sesame. Under pulses, we have broad beans, azuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat, and oats. Considered very bad for the star sign cancer are cabbage, carrots and potatoes, bananas, cherries and quinces, and black beans and black-eyed peas. Diet recommended for the star sign Leo, considered excellent, are cucumber and turnips. And under fruits, we have cranberries, greengages and pawpaw. Under nuts, we have hazelnuts and walnuts, and under pulses, mung beans and chickpeas. Considered also very good are chicory, okra, pimentos, salsify, aubergines, celery and marrow. Under fruits we have black currants, mango, rhubarb, dates and pears. Under nuts we have Brazil nuts, pecan nuts and tiger nuts. Under pulses we have soya beans and bran. And uh, also considered good for the star sign Leo are asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, which is sweet corn, onions, bean sprouts, parsnips and spinach. Under fruits we have avocado, blackberries, red currants and apples. Under nuts we have coconut and pistachio. Pulses, we have just French beans. Considered poor but acceptable are breadfruit, fennel, spring beans, artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives and radishes. Under fruits, we have lemon, raspberries, figs, ginger, passion fruit and pineapple. Under nuts, we have cob nuts and peanuts. Under pulses, we have barley and haricot beans. Considered not good for the star sign Leo, we have celery, beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms and peas. Under fruits, we have those um, sweet chestnuts or marrons, if you like. Also melon, damsons and guavas. Loganberries, peaches, and strawberries. Under nuts, we have beech nuts, Macedonia, and sesame. 
under pulses we have lima beans, rice, azuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat and oats. Considered bad for the star sign Leo are French beans, runner beans, cabbage, carrots, potatoes, corn and lettuce. Under fruits we have apricots, gooseberries, oranges, grapes, bananas, cherries, quinces, mandarins and nectarines. Under nuts we have almonds and under pulses we have butter beans, black beans and black-eyed peas. Considered very bad for the star sign Leo are cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale and tomatoes. Under fruits we have bilberries, grapefruit, lychees and tangerines. Uh, under nuts we have cashews and uh, marron or sweet chestnuts. Under pulses we have broad beans. Diet recommended for the star sign Virgo. Considered excellent we have chicory, okra, pimento and salsify. Under fruits we have black currants, mango and rhubarb. Under nuts, Brazil nuts and pecan nuts. And pulses we have soya beans. Considered also very good are asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, which would be sweet corn, onions, cucumber and turnips. Under the fruits we have avocado, Black currants, cranberries, green gauges, and pawpaw. Under nuts, we have coconuts, hazelnuts, and walnuts. Under pulses, we have mung beans and chickpeas. Considered good also are breadfruit, fennel, spring greens, aubergines, celery, and marrow. Under fruits, we have lemon, raspberries, dates, and pears. Under nuts we have tiger nuts and pulses we have bran. Considered poor but acceptable for the star sign Virgo we have beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms, peas, bean sprouts, parsnips and spinach. Under fruits we have damsons, guavas, loganberries, strawberries and apples. Under nuts we have beech nuts, macedonia, sesame, pistachio. Under pulses we have azuki beans, red kidney beans, oats and French beans. Diet not recommended for the star sign Virgo. Vegetables are not good. We have artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives, radishes, cabbage, carrots and potatoes. Under fruits we have figs, ginger, passion fruit, pineapple, bananas, cherries and quinces. Under nuts we have cob nuts and peanuts and under pulses we have barley, haricot beans, black beans and black-eyed peas. Considered bad for the star sign Virgo are celeriac, cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale and tomatoes. Under fruits we have chestnuts, melons, bilberries, grapefruit, lychees and tangerines. Under nuts we have cashew and under pulses lima beans, rice and broad beans. Considered very bad for the star sign Virgo are French beans, runner beans, lettuce, corn. Under fruits we have apricots, gooseberries, nectarines, mandarines, oranges and grapes. Under nuts we have almonds and under pulses Butter beans. Diet recommended for the star sign Libra. Uh, we have considered excellent in vegetables. We have asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize or sweet corn and onions. Under fruits we have avocado, blackberries and red currants. Under nuts we have coconut and under pulses nothing at all there. Considered very good are breadfruit, fennel, spring greens, chicory, okra, pimento, salsify. Under fruits we have lemon, raspberries, blackcurrant, mango and rhubarb. Under nuts 
we have Brazil nuts and pecan nuts. Under pulses, we have soya beans. Considered good are beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms, peas, cucumber, and turnips. Under fruits, we have damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches, strawberries, cranberries, green gauges, and pawpaw. Under nuts, we have beech nuts, Macedonia, sesame, hazelnuts, and walnuts. Under pulses, we have adzuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat, oats, mung beans, and chickpeas. Considered poor but acceptable for the star sign Libra, we have cabbage, carrots, potatoes, aubergines, celery, and marrow. And under fruits, we have bananas, cherries, quinces, dates, and pears. For under the nuts, we have tiger nuts. And for pulses, we have black beans, black-eyed peas, and bran. Diet not recommended for the star sign Libra. We have vegetables, bean sprouts, parsnips, spinach, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, tomatoes and cauliflower. Under fruits we have apples, bilberries, grapefruit, lychees and tangerines. Under nuts we have cashew nuts, maron or sweet chestnuts. Under pulses we have broad beans. Considered bad also are artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives, radishes, French beans, runner beans, lettuce and corn, which would be um, the sort of corn you make bread from. Under fruits, we have figs, ginger, passion fruit, pineapples, apricots, gooseberries, grapes, mandarins, nectarines and oranges. Under nuts, we have cob nuts, peanuts, almonds and pistachio nuts. Under pulses, we have barley, haricot beans, butter beans and French beans. And considered very bad for the star sign Libra, we have under vegetables, celeriac. Under fruits, we have melon. Under nuts, there's nothing under nuts. And we have pulses, we have lima beans and rice. For the star sign Scorpio, considered excellent are breadfruit, fennel and spring greens, lemons and raspberries. Considered very good also are beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms, peas, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, which is sweet corn, and onions. Under fruits we have damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches, strawberries, avocado, blackberries and red currants. Under nuts we have beech nuts, Macedonia, sesame and coconut. Under pulses we have azuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat and oats. Considered good also for the star sign Scorpio are cabbage, carrots, potatoes, chicory, okra, pimento and salsify. Under fruits we have bananas, cherries, quinces, black currants, mango and rhubarb. Under nuts we have Brazil nuts and pecan nuts. Under pulses we have black-eyed peas and soya beans. Considered poor but still acceptable for the star sign Scorpio are cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, tomatoes, cucumber and turnips. Under fruits we have bilberries, grapefruit, lychees, tangerines, cranberries, green gauges and pawpaw. Under nuts we have cashew nuts, sweet chestnuts or marrons, hazelnuts and walnuts. Under pulses we have broad beans, mung beans and chickpeas. Diet not recommended for the star sign Scorpio are French beans, runner beans, corn, lettuce, aubergines, celery and marrow, apricots, 
gooseberries, grapes, mandarins, nectarines, oranges, dates and pears, almonds and tiger nuts, butter beans and bran. Considered even worse are celeriac, bean sprouts, parsnips and spinach. Under fruits we have melon and apples. Under nuts, chestnuts and pistachio nuts. Under pulses we have lima beans, rice and French beans. Considered very bad for the star sign Scorpio are artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives and radishes, figs, ginger, passion fruit and pineapple, cob nuts and peanuts, barley and haricot beans. The diet recommended for the star sign Sagittarius are considered excellent we have beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms and peas, damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches and strawberries. Under nuts we have beech nuts, macedonia and sesame. Under pulses we have azuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat and oats. Also considered very good are cabbage, carrots, potatoes, breadfruit, fennel and spring greens. Under fruits we have bananas, cherries, quinces, lemon and raspberries. There's nothing under nuts and under pulses we have black beans and black-eyed peas. Also considered good for the star sign Sagittarius are cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, tomatoes, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize, which is sweet corn, and onions. Under fruits we have bilberries, grapefruits, lychees, tangerines, avocados, blackberries and red currants. Under nuts we have cashew nuts, uh, maron or sweet chestnuts and coconut. Under pulses we have broad beans. Under poor we have French beans, runner beans, corn, lettuce, chicory, okra, pimento, salsify. Under fruits we have apricots, gooseberries, grapes, mandarins, nectarines, oranges, black currants, mango and rhubarb. Under nuts we have almonds, Brazil nuts and pecan nuts. Under pulses we have butter beans and soya beans. Diet not recommended for the star sign Sagittarius. We have cucumber, turnips, celeriac, cranberries, greengages, pawpaws and black currants, hazelnuts, walnuts, chestnuts, which are the sweet chestnuts or marrons, and melon. Under pulses we have mung beans, chickpeas, lima beans and rice. Considered to be avoided also are aubergines, celery, marrow, artichokes, Chinese lettuce, leeks, olives and radishes, dates, pears, figs, ginger, passion fruit and pineapple. Under nuts we have tiger nuts, cob nuts and peanuts. And under pulses we have bran, barley and haricot beans. And considered worst of all for the star sign Sagittarius are bean sprouts, parsnips and spinach, apples, pistachio nuts and French beans. Diet recommended for the star sign Capricorn. We have considered excellent. We have cabbage, carrots and potatoes. Under fruits, we have bananas, cherries and quinces. Nothing under nuts. And under pulses, we have black beans and black-eyed peas. Also considered very good for the star sign Capricorn are cauliflower, chilies, courgettes, endive, sea kale, tomatoes, beetroot, broccoli, mushrooms and peas. Under fruits we have bilberries, grapefruit, lychees, tangerines, damsons, guavas, loganberries, peaches and strawberries. 
Under nuts we have cashew, marron or sweet chestnuts, beech nuts, Macedonia and sesame. Under pulses, broad beans, azuki beans, red kidney beans, buckwheat and oats. Considered good for the star sign Capricorn are French beans, runner beans, corn, lettuce, breadfruit, fennel and spring greens. Under fruits we have apricots, gooseberries, grapes, mandarins, nectarines, oranges, lemon and raspberries. Under nuts we have almonds. Under pulses we have butter beans. Considered poor but acceptable are celeriac, asparagus, brussels sprouts, gherkins, maize or sweet corn and onions. Under fruits we have marron, which are sometimes known as sweet chestnuts, melons, avocados, blackberries and red currants. Under nuts we have lima beans, coconut and under pulses we have rice. No, I made an error there, sorry. Under nuts we have marrons, which are considered to be sweet chestnuts. Diet not recommended for the star sign Capricorn are chicory, mango, okra, Chinese lettuce, pimento, leeks, salsify, olives, radishes and artichokes, black currants, walnuts, rhubarb, figs, ginger, passion fruit and pineapple, hazelnuts and cobnuts. Considered even worse are cucumber, bean sprouts, parsnips, pawpaw and turnips, apples, cranberries and greengages, pistachio nuts, hazelnuts and walnuts, French beans, mung beans and chickpeas. Considered very bad and to be avoided for the star sign Capricorn are aubergines, celery and marrow, dates and pears, tiger nuts and under pulses, bran. We've made the tour of all the signs of the zodiac. Now it's up to you whether you follow this diet or not. It's up to you whether you um, stick solely to that which is considered good and whether you wish from time to time to include some of the other foods that are considered to be not good for you. And certainly, I just will finish with the warning I gave at the beginning, which is that you should follow the advice of a qualified dietitian or doctor.